what works for Nate, what works for Rome may not work for Sam and Larry. Right. No, it, it, and there's no right. wrong in that. It's who you walk in this journey right, with. Right. And I right. don't like 21 questions. Like, and, I don't mind you sharing don't information. You get and I feel the same way. I, I, I like swear I hate it because I'm like, <laughs> I have done nothing wrong Precisely. to make you question exactly. what I'm doing. Yes. And here's the thing. I have a willingness to inform you. So you shouldn't even step to me asking these type of questions. The 100%. tone, the aggression. I don't need it. I don't have to tolerate it. Right. I understand where you're coming from. But because I n am in anticipation and I know my wife, mm -hmm. I have no problem giving that 411 up front. Mm -hmm. But I've also built a relationship. Now I know she needs that information. Yeah. Right. She, yeah. like, that's who my wife is. And mm -hmm. I have no problem because I've we built this unity. There you go. That I was like, okay, I know. I put this on the calendar like three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. She's like, where are you going? I'm going to go hang out with my boys. Oh, who's going? <laughs> the boys. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, like, but see, I built a relationship to I now know I need to give her some 411 to absolutely. bring peace and no, you, comfort you, you, to her. You do need to give your spouse or your girl information, right? Just like you would want information from them if they're going out doing something with their But is that 21 whatever. questions? No, it's not 21 seconds, questions. <laughs> because, <laughs> no, because if, so, if my girl asked me uh, or, you know, she said she was going somewhere, mm -hmm. I have maybe one or two questions, which is like, oh, okay, wh where are you going? Oh, I'm just going to the mall. All right, cool. Have fun. That's the end of it. I don't need to know all who going. I don't need to know what stores you're visiting. I don't need to know what's going on. Fair. I don't give a fuck. I don't, can we cut? I don't yeah, give a heck. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about what's going on after that. Right, I right. just don't. And it's not that I don't care about her or what she's up to. I just, it doesn't bother right. me. But the opposite, I would get 35 questions. Well, who's going to be there? How long y'all going to be? What time are you coming back? And what's the problem with that? It, why do you need to know all that information? Well, it's the same reason why you don't need to know the information. It's their love language. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah, well, you can't. It can't. Key. It can't be just one way. There goes the key. I guess mm -hmm. it can't be a one-way street because yeah. what doesn't what works for you may no, not work for it, her. So you got to you have to consider what makes them feel good. Right. I'm not saying all of it. I'm just saying you got to consider it, and you got to figure out how to weed through that. Mm -hmm. And the way it comes off, mm -hmm. keeping it real, from my point of view, you sound like you don't want to give none of it. I don't want to give any of it. Not because I'm withholding information just for the sake. I, I'm. I'm very. Um, What's the word? Uh, uh, rebellious when it comes to if I'm going to offer you the information, then I'll, I'll give it give you the information. Okay, so I'm, I'm, when I'm, you I'm, interrogate I'm, I'm, me, then I'm like, well, what's I'm, I'm going to throw questions? something at you, Larry. Get, You're going to like this. I'm going I'm to go off script and ask you a question. Oh, okay, here we go. What if you married yourself? <laughs> yes. It no. would work. Oh, no. yes, it would. No, it would. would. Yes, it would. You would kill yourself. No, because, no. Cause, cause, because I'm. Mm. I'm you nobody know be talking to nobody. No, right. You divorce <laughs> no, yourself. No, no, <laughs> no. You'd you be divorced yes. already. If, if that could be the case, suing each other for child support. It wouldn't work. Wait, divorce no, or it wouldn't work. work. <laughs> no, it'd be game I'm, over. This podcast would be done. If I met a girl that was. Prettier than me, but was the same well, as obviously me. Obviously, she's prettier than you. Because <laughs> I'm not the prettiest. <laughs> no, you sexy though, no, but you sexy though, baby. You know, I'm that, sexy, but I'm yeah, sexy Superman though. curl and all that. <laughs> you know, he got that oh, S curl she, from she the nineties, from the eighties. <laughs> Larry, sexy baby. Y'all should be in the studio. And the five, and the five o'clock shadow. Yeah, right. Rick J is actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I can't stand none of y'all. See. No, but I'm saying if I met someone that was similar to me, we'd get along. Because you would get happened. along, but you wouldn't be married. Why? Because you just said you don't like questions, so none of y'all talk. No, I don't like. <laughs> no, no, I don't like <laughs> excessive <laughs> questions. Again, basic I know, I'm questions playing. like, "Oh, where are you going? I want to know where you're going." But you, you. Don't, but that's really it. But I you don't, don't really, want to be asked where see, you're going. Then you the but one. You can ask me. You're one in and, a million. And who you're going with, and and the rest that goes along with that. Yeah, but and, then and what I, you had there's from, a, there's what you a, eat. What you eat. All the all the extra stuff is too much. It's like, well, what what you have to eat? Did you like it? What was what did you wash it down with? What'd you drink? Who, what, what was, who was the waiter? Huh? You what? know what? Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Let me. I gotta interject huh? here. I'm gonna give a scenario. Yeah, what? This for me, there was a scenario that I, uh, I encountered, and right. what it was was, and it comes down to this in my world. The give me the opportunity to tell you. Yes. That's the challenge that I have learned That's to good. just walk through. It's like I need to get home decompress let me process the key moments that took place mm -hmm. and once i got that down and i know how to formulate it i would willingly tell you Wrong. but 65 percent yes. of the time and i'm saying collectively here we get home 
Right when we get home, we, oh we put God. our shoes, they take our shoes off, and then we're hit with questions. Yes. I don't have the opportunity to share with you because you're already interrogating me. Damn. Or it feels like but I'm getting interrogated. Consider but they're, this. they're just interested in what you, they're, right. they're not interrogating. But they, but in the same thing to but, go back to your statement. They aren't interrogating you, Larry. it feels like it. But for you, they're just, they, they love you. They're they missed interested. you. They want to know what they happened in your day. Exactly. How was my baby's day? How did you spend right. it? Right. I love you. I but care about you, so I'm going to kick Because, see, because see we went. walk in the door right. and it's we're hit with these questions right within the first First, even okay. Thirty seconds. Any man that walks in the house needs at least twenty-five minutes to decompress. Yeah, I'll, Get me I'll, some I'll water. Let that. me go use the bathroom. No, I'll, I'll raise Let it to thirty. Go. Yeah. I'll raise okay. it to thirty. 30 I, need a, I, mean, I need a cool thirty minutes. No, but yeah. right. Yeah. But here's the thing. In my atmosphere, in my house, my own kids won't even give me my ten minutes. Well, Daddy, can I? And it's like, okay, I'll give them grace. But it's funny. I won't give my wife that same grace. Well, see, and that's what we're talking about when you say grace. Right. Um, you have to consider in the dynamics of the household, you poured into the whole world, but your house. And this is poured for your house. Right. Right. So when you come home, of course, they want to see how mm -hmm. you are. Right. How was your day? Agreed. But right. we also need to be forthcoming and say, how was your day? When we walk and in the door, what's going on? Because we, we need that moment of solitude to mm -hmm. decompress. Right. right? But you've been everywhere in the world the whole week, the whole day. True. What piece, mm -hmm. what fraction do they get of you tired to get the tired version of us, the hungry. frustrated, hungry version? Hungry. All, <laughs> those, all those are real. All those are real. No, but, right. but they also tired. Exactly. They need to get away from the TV. But they ain't hungry. <laughs> <laughs> they might be hungry. They may want you to cook that night. No, no, you that's know, so we're talking about so you right. <laughs> <laughs> I know this. Nate talking about a whole nother hungry, y'all. <laughs> you know, hungry. but mm. we have to be mindful, especially the dy dynamics of the workforce. Now, a lot of us work from home, right? Mm -hmm. So that doesn't right. mean that you was home all day that you were present. And, and that's a very key thing. Physically. No, you're physically, physically there, but proximity doesn't mean present, that you, right. you engage in having dialogue. That's right. Me and my wife both work from home, and we don't – sometimes we go hours without speaking. Hmm. I'm in my solitude. She's in hers. We work from home. We may not even have lunch together. Right. Because we're in we're, – we're two different places. Focused. Mentally. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. so the dynamics of you coming home, yeah, she misses you. And your kids miss you. Because – your workload takes you on the go. So we have to consider what's more important, my 30 minutes. You may need it, but they need they, they may need you front and center more immediately than our 30 minutes we want for ourselves. Because, again, they've been championing all the other things that we're not championing. But I think that – go ahead. What's the other side of it? What if what if you got home and nobody asked about your day? Mm -hmm. Nobody cared. The kids weren't excited. You were mm -hmm. home. And they didn't even pay attention to you. I lived I, that I, life. For 30 and minutes? I'm, no, being real, no, I'm already starting to crap it's about that because my boys are entering in this age where it's like they how, don't need dad. They don't exactly. want dad. Exactly. So you you can't have it both ways. I'm, <laughs> not gonna di I'm not disagreeing with right, it. Okay. I just, I'm going back to hopefully right. like what, where Larry was coming from being I don't need those 20 questions. And I don't want those 20 questions. But I think it's in the mindset of – Unity. Give me the opportunity to give you this information. Yes. Let me, okay. let, I want to give you this information. But if you cut me off before I even get the willingness to, I don't want to talk. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to hit That's all real. these questions right away. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm being real. It's funny. We can go months without seeing each other. And we get together and we'll pick it up like nothing happened. Yeah. All right. Go. And in doing that. We have a willingness. Oh, my God. Dude, Comic-Con. We got to go to the Comic-Con. Yep. Did you get the ad? Oh, Comic -Con. oh mm -hmm. did you see that clip? Oh, that, that clip? Oh, that but, film? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, last but, night. But I boys are different from your wife. But, and true. I'm not disagreeing with that. But because we have gone, there's a gap. And when we get together, we have a willingness to share. Absolutely. I'm not hit with, where you at? Da, da, da. And I'm not saying. Because we're not going to be asking you that. <laughs> but, but, that, but, that's, but that makes the willingness even yeah, more yeah, enjoyable when we right, get together. Right, it's, it's, I get that. It's, it's I get the, that. concept here. So why don't we care about where Rome has been? Because it's not my wife. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but it's not. <laughs> right. 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 Okay. Is, so, is this a trick question? <laughs> no. But okay. So why does What's your going wife on? care about where you've been? 
she wants to be included still. She, she wants to be part of my journey. And that, and that is on a certain level, some kind of yeah, uh, no surface comparison. intimacy. Yeah, yeah, it really is. But you said selfish intimacy? No, surface. Oh, surface. Surface. Surface, surface. Okay. We, we, surface we intimacy. Be yeah, we, we compare the apples and zebras. Yeah. It's not even in the same right. hemisphere. Right. You can't compare your, your spouse with your boy. Mm. I understand. And I'm not I'm not comparing it, at least not directly, but I'm just saying what, what kind of security or insecurity is involved when our girlfriends and wives ask us, you know, I look at it from the other point of view. Wow. The other point of view, I look at it like this, because I know where my wife would go with this. She asks me questions. Say I get irritated or whatever. First thing she's going to say, I'm just asking you questions. want to know how your day was and see how you've been mm-hmm. all day. Mm-hmm. Why yeah. does that bother you? Yeah. Why are you getting irritable because I care about my what's been going on all day? Yeah. She goes, I just want to you know, have, see how things are going. And you got an attitude? That's a, that, and then, unless, you know, I'm, I feel guilty, feel guilty, you know feel uh, disrespectful or what have you. I said, How, uh, what, what is the problem with her? Now, if Sam asked me about the same thing, I wouldn't care. If Nate did, right. Larry, Rome, and all of y'all can ask me, I would have said everything. But why would my wife ask me the same thing? Do I get an attitude? Mm-hmm. Do I want to strike back? Do I? And then, kind of like what Rome said, I'm going to shut down. Don't even want to talk about it now. We got to check where that, where, that motive, where that point of view is coming from. We got to see where that's coming from. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know where it's coming from with me. I, all I know is if you, if she, if my girl asks me, "How was your day?" and I go, oh, "It was fine, it was cool, you know, nothing happened." You know, uh, well, what happened? I just said nothing happened. It was chill. I just, I was just she's, at work. She's just taking an interest in you. Exactly. She, but, she adores you. But they're you. not satisfied with the initial answer. No, because they want more of what, you. What? what? What uh, what answer was that? It was okay. That that's not really an answer. <laughs> I mean, we really think about it. How was your day? It, first well, of all, it uh, is it was an okay. Answer, that, uh, and secondly, it's the answer that I gave you. So Ooh, I, I, I got a, I got a good one for y'all. So it's interesting that we're comparing bros, brotherly love mm-hmm. to our spouses. Bros to garden cool. No. No. <laughs> no, 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 different no. area code. Here we go. <laughs> area oh, code. Boy, here we go. See, so oh, boy, here we go. So it's interesting Bro. that we wouldn't be offended if we talk to one another about right. the same topics, and then we have an attitude with our spouse. So riddle me this. When we come home and they see us turned up about the game, <laughs> about our TV shows, mm. about our interests, our passions, our companies mm. that we run, and then we give them the silent treatment. Mm. How do you think that makes them feel that we would go into such deep dialogue about, hey, I need this contractors here and I'm doing this project there. But when we talk to them, it's, oh, it's cool. I think how do you think that makes them feel? How does it make them feel? They probably feel uh, not included, left out. There you go. And do you care? Um, and and do you care? Do you care? I, I I totally understand. I think a little bit of the difference is uh, the the questions that you ask. So it's with you guys. It's not general. It's specific. So you know, you and I have had conversations about very specific things. You've asked me questions like, well. What do you love about filmmaking? What do you love about writing? What mm-hmm. do you love about X, Y, and Z? Well, that's an interesting question. What do I love about it? Well, Sam, I love X, Y, and Z about it. I've never been asked that by a girl. Okay. Mm. It's always general. How was your day? My day was fine. What else am I supposed to say after that? It was fine. You can it say a great. lot. Or if it was bad, I'll say it was a tough day. Well, why was it tough? It was tough because X, Y, Z. Then you can get, that's fine. If it was a good day and it was good, oh, I was good. It just was just it, it was whatever. The questions are never uh, super specific, unless okay. they are. And be careful what, what, what you, you ask for. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, exactly. Mm-hmm. So then, they're, then they're super specific, right. and I'm mm-hmm. like, well, now you, mm-hmm. now you on my nerves because that's too specific. <laughs> so I, maybe I'm just a weird person. Maybe I'm just hard no, to please. No, you, Larry. Uh, I'm me. You, Larry. Yeah, you definitely I'm Larry. Larry. <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely, definitely Larry. Yeah. <laughs> that's the name of the new podcast. He's definitely Larry. Yeah. <laughs> definitely Larry. I think that'll be a clip. I'll just, I'll just capture that YouTube show. He definitely Larry. What do you mean by that? You that's that's me. I knew that. That isn't me. That isn't me. <laughs> definitely Larry. He could be Brad. No, he definitely Larry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Definitely Larry. Yeah. Nate, Definitely. I want to take it back to that first question when right. you yeah. talked about the five love languages. 